uh, welcome guys so in this video what we are going to do is we are going to learn about gazelle okay so uh, what we are going to learn about a new thing which is called gazelle dot yes exactly so <coughs> so let's take a like this uh, there will be a playlist for the gazelle like in this particular video we are going to make only a to-do application that's it and uh, some authentication part we can also cover so what a gazelle is gazelle is a framework which is using dart as a language which is used to make apis for your application in dart language <coughs> so it's easy to implement lots of customizations we can add plugins we will see in the future like a uh, gazelle is service with server within dart to compose the perfect backend for you so this is uh, you can look <coughs> into the docs so let's uh, go to the it is a framework i have told you again uh, you can go to this documentation and learn what a gazelle is like how you can uh, you can you know play around it and look at it and if you want let's say you found an issue you can come to their github and <coughs> open an issue let's say open a pull request or something and you can play around with it so let's explore gazelle and let's take a look around it what i'm going to do is i'm going to open vs code and let's see i'm going to open a uh, gazelle test uh, path doesn't care what i'm going to do is i'm going to open a finder i cannot find or let's say a uh, terminal ls and cd dev uh, okay not this not this uh, cd minus minus let's say uh, ls dev yep let make dir let's say mm, uh, let's not uh, let's do something like that like uh, this is a dart project so we will create dart create and let's make it uh, testing in gazelle let's say let's make this okay it will run <coughs> it will create our testing gazelle so let's cd testing mm, testing mm, 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 testing g a double z e l e uh, let me open vs code yep it's uh, so uh, it is just an uh, <coughs> simple library and uh, we don't have to look into the bin thing let's look at the testing so let's create uh first before creating any to-do application let's look at the basics of it okay let uh, for the basics what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and at the starting a server so uh, i only need this let's copy and paste it and let's see uh this and control a b and gazelle app. okay for this gazelle app i have to import a uh, gazelle core uh let me go to the packages i can so that i can see you uh gazelle core uh, yes here it is gazelle core so this is an <coughs> a dependency for the dart compatible and one likes and you can test you can get the pa uh, package here so what i'm going to do i'm going to copy the name and paste it here so <coughs> and let it do its job and it's done let me import it and yeah. so let's run our first thing so uh, what it is the root which says uh, which we, <coughs> we are getting it so what are the requests it uh, have it have a, a post push and get other things like the all the basics we have like we have get had post put patch and delete an option right now okay so uh, let's run this and let's see uh, okay let me do one thing we don't want to test right now let's just delete the test and then also let's run <coughs> so it is running in the local host this port it is automatically assigned a port to itself so but what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, make a port to 8080 so that uh, whenever let's say if i hot restart so it is going to run at the 8080 port so i don't have to you know open the <coughs> open the link again and again i can you know uh, just simply op localhost this and it will automatically run so uh, let's see rather than hello gazelle let's say hello gazelle uh, application or something let's restart it and 
Mm, I don't know. I don't really start. Yes, hello, Gazelle Finish. So, uh, this is you know the home page, but let's create another page. Let's say uh, app dot get. Uh, it need a route. Let's say uh, I'll route a runner, and uh, it will have a request which is asynchronize. Open up this <sighs> async, and it will have Gazelle response. Gazelle response uh, status code let's say uh, I can write uh, you can customize your status code let's say 404 and <coughs> and body and let's say uh, Raman is here let's say and let me do a restart it's running and if I go to the port uh, let's uh, not port so it is there Raman is here yeah. so uh, you can do one thing you can open postman and uh, you can also run that link to this like if i go to the boat 880 and send it it will say hello casual application and if i go to the roman it will <coughs> it will give me a body yeah. like the data so uh and status also like 404 and if i uh, don't go here and it will say status 200 okay so like we have made an apis api <coughs> for this so uh, let's create a to do application for this so before the to do application uh, we need a uh, you know a class for the to do what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a class not the file let's create a to do dot dot and let's create a class to do okay <coughs> okay what i need in a to do uh, i need a let's say string id i need a string title uh, i need a string of description and I need a string uh, let's say the task is completed or not so it's like completed and I need a date time let's say created it uh, and what I need is a date time a completed it date time uh, completed okay so uh, to do this yes exactly okay uh, let's create <coughs> factory uh, like this you know uh, the json thing to do or from json exactly i want this like uh, id i need json and all other like uh, com uh, completed it's good like i need this created add is json completed created add is json completed is uh, let's wait wait uh, created add is not good uh, let me write it again created at is equals to date time dot try parse and it will be like json created at dot to string and if it is null then it will say date time dot now like we have created this and let's complete it at same thing like date time dot try parse and json uh, let's say completed at dot to string if and if that's mm, that's a, a model or something let's say class so i've created a class and <coughs> now this we have to add a map of string from uh, dynamic let's say dynamic and uh, to json yes exactly and uh, one more thing uh, the to do copy with it's like the model thing so uh, yeah like i'm creating a model so that we know we can store the data or something uh, i need this exactly copy with here uh, uh, i string id to do uh, it will return to do and <coughs> what is the problem mm, and yeah that's it we have created a model here created it and this is perfect we have created a model <coughs> let's go to the you know services like uh, what is required in this so rather than before going to service let's define the routes what we are going to use in this application like <coughs> uh let's you know uh, you know do one thing let's segregate all those things uh, i need uh, i don't need roots right now so what I'm going to do is I'll remove all this code and I'll uh, 
let's wait i create a service uh async await uh gazelle service service dot start okay don't worry about it we are going to create another file and it will say print and it's going to say a uh, server is running on port uh, on at the HTTP not the port we are running at the port not this wait running at HTTP mm, not this not this not this uh, running at uh, HTTP slash slash dollar mm, gazelle service dot app dot address and this uh, gazelle service dot app dot portal exactly so let's create the gazelle service now so uh, what I need is I need a gazelle service dot dot okay so uh, gazelle service is <coughs> uh, what I need let's create a class which says uh, gazelle service so let's uh, ignore let's resolve all our problem so final so it has to be static static final app is equals to uh, let's say uh, gazelle app and let's remove all this error like we have uh, created a class import library and all this problem we are going to solve like start function is not created but it will be created hence the when it will create the problem will also be solved so uh, we need a gazelle app and port let's say 880 port let's say uh, 8080 let's say 8082 or something 8082 and let's uh, you know list all the routes we need so uh, we need static final for the to do application final list of string all routes we need uh, let's say first of all we need a home so we need a slash we need a uh, to do's slash to do's uh, we need <coughs> ids let's say I want to get an I particular ID of something and what I need is a create let's say user can also create a to do and let's say uh, create an update of ID and delete <coughs> at particular ID and yeah that's that's all what we want the route so let's create a list of to do application let's say we need three to do let's say for the for this for something to show so we have static final list of to do and to do's uh, is equal to this let's create some to do's so uh, let's set this uh, as a third to do yeah perfect okay so uh, let's now create the start function what we want uh, okay just give me static future because it void it will not return anything <coughs> start asynchronizations we need and set route okay we will create a function set route for free uh, let's and let's say await app dot start okay we have no problems in this so I like we can remove this part and let's create a function which says which set the routes okay uh, <coughs> so uh, set routes like we need some function to set the routes of it so what we are going to do is we are going to static void set routes and let's say this and this function okay gazelle we need gazelle service dot app dot get 
route will be as a slash and request will be uh, uh, asynchronization and gazelle response will get gazelle response and status code let's say 200 and body will be uh, mm, let's say we will write uh, you know body which is a meaningful message so we will say this is and to do app use uh, so that it's just it is we are not getting any ui so we will <coughs> have to create something so that you know user can see how which api to all to get which data so this end to do application use slash to do to get all the to do's and we'll say all available routes are Mm, all routes is a gazel service dot all routes not this gazel service dot all routes yes exactly let's see <coughs> so these are all the routes now let's create a route for now to do's and uh, the routes we have also set let's create those routes and yep. <coughs> and uh, we are going to perform some authentication in this like how you know we can do this authentication also that we can check that the user is authorized or the user is not authorized in this particular we are not going to print fully the authentication system we will manually do the authentication part like we will say let's say the authentication is true let's say the authentication is not true so we can we can we are going to do that just for this uh let's go app.get yes it's done like we are going to at the home and we are going to uh, do this let's do one thing let's start this thing and let's see what is going to happen so it is running at the local host this if i go here and let's uh, go to the postman you can test your application here like the apis this send to do application let's go to the to do's we are not going to anything this was not found exactly <coughs> but we are going to return the this all the to do's which you see in right here we are going to return all those but uh, we <coughs> you can check we can update we can create here <coughs> let's uh, make it for the you know uh, for all the other routes which you have created like the to do's and other stuff so uh, now let's move further for the to do's so gazelle gazelle service app dot get and to do's here slash to do's uh, so request to see is asynchronous gazelle response status code this but i don't want this i will say json in code and the object will be gazelle service dot to do here list of all yeah and uh, okay let's move further and let's see is this running or not so if i restart the application and if i go to the slash to do let's send it and see we are uh, we have got this so let's uh not the row pretty preview uh, not this visualization mm -mm, let's you can see right here can i uh, make it uh, look prettier yeah jason exactly we can see we have done like the we have gotten the data from the server like all the to do things which we have sent it here okay so uh <coughs> there is something called pre uh not here let me uh get a response i think so pre or uh, not here uh pre let's see this pre, yeah <coughs> pre request you can post request so so uh, for understanding what this is we are uh, going to do that after uh, setting all those routes so let's ignore or let's ignore this so uh, what we are going to do is gazelle not this service dot app dot get yes let's say uh, we are going to create for the to do this id and request uh, asynchronous exactly and 
let's say let's print the id or something let's wait a second uh, let me remove all the code so we will say asynchronous print and what it will print it will the request which we have gone which we got dot path parameters path uh, parameters is equals to uh, dollar uh, request dot path parameters exactly we are going to print this and uh, final id is the request para path parameter id and we will do a try and catch so that we you know try and catch if it is doable or not so final to do is equals to gazelle uh gazelle service uh service we are going to use service over here gazelle service uh dot to do's dot to do's yes to do's and let's say first where the we have got the element so we will say uh element dot id i think so element dot id is equals to equals to id and it will return the gazelle response gazelle response status code let's say uh, 200 and json and code for the body yes we have to put body here json and code and to be guess perfect else if uh, we got any problem we will say get the response and to do not phone or let's say any error so uh, let me run this we are going to uh, you know uh, go over here and we will say we are can we find that id or something let's say to do slash id is let's say uh, two or something let's send it and see we got the second to do over here let's go to json and yeah we got here so let's say if I didn't get any IDs here, so I can say to do not form. Try and catch it. Yeah, to do not form. So we created the app dot get for the to do slash ID. Let's create for the create purpose. Let's like you can also create the to do right. So castle service dot app dot post. Okay, there are two some uh, two things. First is get like we are fetching from the server and set post which we are sending it to the server so that it can store okay so uh, what i'm going to do is root will be slash create and okay that's it request will be uh, like this asynchronous ync and this so what is going to happen we are going to create a final okay a final body is equals to uh, json decode source will be await uh, let's say request dot body if it is returning null let's say there's nothing over here if it has then okay then if it is not we are going to you know try this like it is nothing if it is it has some data so we will get the data if it doesn't have any data well then we will enter the null values so try okay body uh, dot created at created at is equals to date time uh, date time dot now dot two iso eight one six yes i want in this and final to do is equals to do dot from json body of oh, what is what we are getting so let's add it <coughs> let's add in the list and it will return uh gas response to net one and the thing like it is added so uh, else let's say if we got any error let's say the invalid request body so let's run this and let me so we have we are creating a to do in the server let's say to do over here let's say create and if i send it let's say at the body uh, i can you know create 
okay i have to add all the parameters and then i can like the id i need description i need so we are going to test it a later let's create all those services what we are going to do what we have created so we have uh, done two things home is done to do id is done let's do <coughs> update and let's do delete so now the update part mm, let's move here so gazel service dot app dot now we are going to put because we are going to update it so uh, what i need is slash update slash id and it is going to run turn asynchronization like uh, it's in future so might have to do it yeah we have to do it not might so uh, what i need is id of that particular you know id is equals to path parameters yes and the body also exactly request body so let's do try and catch so in try what is going to happen final to do is equals to gazelle service service dot to do dot first uh, where element to do a, okay uh, something or uh, to do now this element dot id is equals to id yeah. that's it because we are going to update so we have to find the id of that so final updated to do is equals to to do copy with and what else we got it we can update here yep perfect uh updated to do is the copy with and title description completed and completed it and uh true if it is null that's good and and index okay uh, what i need is this let's say title is done description of the description is done like if it is we got anything okay completed body uh if we got anything then it's good completed at is done and let's say i need index also and index is equals to gather service dot to do's dot index where we have to update this thing uh element element dot uh, element dot id is equals to id now we are going to uh, uh, remove this thing so we will say gazelle service dot to do's dot remove at like we are going to remove at the particular location index we have got it and that's it now let's insert this thing so uh gazelle service dot to do's dot insert not index insert so at the insert part we have the index and we have the updated to do so we have all and return the response let's say 200 and json encode and updated to do what we have updated else we'll say error to do not found or something like that okay so uh we will test it out after we have done the deletion of it also let's focus on the deletion part and let's see if the copy width is good Mm, 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 let's okay let's see what is okay deletion id request it will be done asynchronization i need an id of it is path parameter try we will do that if it does yes it is good and yeah i think it this code is like is good rather than giving uh, mm, 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 yes to do deleted to do not found let's uh what is remaining okay done let's test the deletion of deletion first uh, port is running and let's say uh, this to do okay let's uh, you know mm -mm -mm, json uh, what is the path delete delete slash id let's delete the third number and send it so okay resource not on what
delete okay i think the port is not running right okay stop it and let's run it again okay let's see what is the request <coughs> oh after delete oh. do we have something called delete yeah we need a delete yeah it cannot be get post post so yeah it has to be delete and let's send it just to do delete it let's go to to do uh okay i have to get this thing and let's json yep we have deleted that to do and let's see if it is deleted over here okay it uh, it is not deleted but it is deleted in the server so hence we have deleted the third to do so let's what we are going to create we are going to create a, a authentication hook <coughs> so a simple authentication part what we are going to do is that if the person which is logging in is authenticated or not so what i am going to create is static final final authentic Authentication hook I need is equals to gazelle pre uh, request hook I need like what is happening right here let me uh, tell you uh, something let's say you have requested something in the server and server is going to check that okay you have requested some resources let me check that are you the valid person or are you the not valid person so it says pre request hook like before requesting it is have a pre request hook so we can very validate and verify that the user which is going to need this particular information from the server is right or wrong like is authenticated or not so for this we need a pre request hook so it will have a request and let's make request or oh, is synchronization async and i need the async and if the person is not authentication or then okay auth ticketed and i here it will have a request if it is not authenticated then it will return gazelle response let's say a status code 401 and body we will say uh, unauthorized or something okay let's create uh, you know authenticated you know this function so like what we are going to do we are not going to you know implement a fully functional authentication system no what we are going to do is uh, we will just say static bool authenticated and it will have a gazelle request as a request request and not this now we don't need any of this thing and return a false and let's say we want to return we can return true also just for the testing purpose we can you know we can all uh, create something we can also create something let's say fully functional authentication system right here it's all up to us i'm not going to create right now but you can create if you want to so let's uh, go to this authentication hook and uh, it is going to request is uh, is it is authenticated yep and it will return the response return the response yes, yes it will return the response but uh, okay it is going to requ return the request not the response yep we have got the request we will return the request and i think it will have something called share with child and true let's see what uh, share with child needs uh, determine whether the hook should be shared with child yeah we need uh, this to be shared with child okay uh we have authentication we have a logger hook also <coughs> logger hook simply means that uh it is for the backend server let's say user has requested some part of you know information but we need to check that what is the information user is going user requesting and what is the piece of information which is 
send from the server to the to the you know to the user so what we are going to do is we are going to print all the information which is sent by the server so what i need is a uh, logger hook so we need a static final final logger hook is equals to gazelle post because it is after the uh, request has been done so it will what it will done it will uh, asynchronization async and uh, it will print the request dot body it's just so long what is the problem okay uh, not this it will have a response let's say request or something and it, what it will do it will print request dot body what is going out of the server and it will return the request and yeah share with child also yeah okay so uh let's do this thing let's see uh where we can use this let's uh use it in mm -mm -mm. let's see where we can use it we are going to use it in the to do section yes let's say when mm -mm -mm. pre or something how oh, can when is something important pre yes pre is uh, it need this and post it need this pre i'll uh, call authentication hook mm -hmm. sorry about it control f this and this yep authentication hook and a uh, logger hook i think so yep log hook so let's uh, pause the server and let's rerun it again let's see can we check that if the person is authenticated or not so right now if person is authenticated then if i go to slash to do's and if i send the request we will get the request mm -hmm. let's see the json not the xml let's just do this yeah we got the request but let's say the user and we have also uh, get the logger thing like what is the information which is sent from the server to the user okay let's do one thing let's make the authentication to the false and let's see if the person is able to get all this information or let's say it is unauthenticated so yep if i uh, you know uncomment this and comment this so it will we will get the information so now it's done like we have created a very simple to do application api you can run that api and you can you know fetch the information in the application using the apis uh, and that's it yep so uh, that's it for the gazelle right now but uh, let me introduce to the one of the greatest thing of the gazelle is the plugins we will talk about the plugin in the upcoming videos like it's uh, i'm going i'm planning to create a complete playlist it is just an intro introduction about the gazelle like how, what is gazelle is what is the what is the basic purpose and that's it so by the help of gazelle using the dart language you can also create a backend fully functional backend of it so yeah that's it and uh, you can look into the gazelle thing uh, and you can check the routing purpose and other thing like the head and very path parameters and other stuff and hooks you can also see uh, pre-request hook we have also created authentication uh, request hook let's say hook yep we have created some pre and post hooks in the application so yeah and plugins you can also add plugins uh, but in future videos we will add uh, we will i'll make some videos on plugins also yeah that's it and do leave some comments on the gazelle like how uh, do you like uh, like what is your take on this and yep that's it from my side keep learning keep exploring and some more videos is gonna come soon on gazelle and some other topics so yeah that's it and see ya keep learning keep exploring and do let me know in the comment section about uh, what do you think about gazelle thing and uh, do and check the description i'll uh, send uh, i'll pin some links to the gazelle uh, this part and the you know the home page and let's say or the docs part overview and something so you can check that out like it is an amazing and you can also check the github 
it's a very good open source thing like it's just like uh, they have all only lost like two weeks ago so if you want you can let's say you got any error let's say you can implement some other stuff you can go right here and you can start and fork the repository and you can start building this thing like you can solve any issues or something and let's say you uh, face any issues so you can uh, create an issue here let's say you have a pull request or something it's all the github things you know right so that's it and do let me know in the comment section what are the next topic i i should cover uh and yeah see ya and bye bye